Hi, it's Ashik here. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this lesson, I'll teach you how to prepare a realization account of partnership business. This lesson will consist of two parts. In the first part, I'll should show you the realization account and the second part, the capital account and the bank account. So let's get started. Here, look at the question of what is written. Mira, Sasa and Peter have been trading as a partnership. They shared profit and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1 respectively. The partnership ceased trading on 31st January 2019. Okay, then what is given? The following information is available on dissolution of partnership. Okay, so here we have a statement of financial position, which is also called a balance sheet. So from this balance sheet, first of all, we have to prepare this realization account, then capital and bank account. Okay, so here uh, uh, in, the, in the statement of financial position, we have some assets, we have some liabilities and, and capital. So first of all, we have to transfer all this asset and liabilities to the realization account okay so before doing this realization account we need to know some important points okay so here look first one transfer asset will be debited so whatever asset we have in the statement of financial position we will transfer them to the realization account and we will enter it in this debit side okay then a sole asset if any asset is sold in this case, we have to record in the credit side. Then transfer of liabilities. So whatever liability we have here, if we transfer in this realization account, we need to record in the credit side. Then paid liabilities. If any liability is paid during the dissolution of this partnership, in this case, we have to record in the debit side. Okay, then transfer of provisions. Okay, what are the provisions? Like provision for doubtful debt, uh, general reserve, and uh, uh, provision for depreciation. Okay, this type of items, if we transfer to the uh, to the uh, realization, realization account, then we have to record in the credit side. Okay, then next one we have here expenses of realization. If there is any kinds of expenses cost of realization, then we will record in the debit side. Okay. Then number seven, take over asset by the base by the partner. Sorry. So if any partner takes over any kinds of asset, then this asset will be recorded in the credit side in the name of capital account of that respective partner. Okay. So here number eight, the last one, take over liabilities by partner. So when a liability is taken over by the partner, in this case we have to record in the debit side in the name of capital of that partner okay and one more thing you have to remember when we record this asset here in this realization account we have to write the book value of this assets so these items are very important please remember these items where to enter okay now have a look at the question Mira, Sasa and Peter statement of financial position at 31st January 2019 assets. So first one is non-current asset. What is non-current asset? Number one, fixtures and feeding. Okay, fixture and feeding will transfer this asset to this capital account. So what is transfer of asset in the debit side? Yeah, so let us write here fixture and feedings. It is 45,200 dollars. Okay. Then what is in the question? Motor vehicle. It is also asset and it will be transferred to this realization account. And transfer of asset is debit side. So let us write here motor vehicle. So value is 22,000 dollars. Okay. Great. Now, uh, we have no more non-current asset. We have here current assets. What is it? First one is inventory. Yeah. So again, we will transfer this asset in the debit side. 
Okay, so it's written here. So let us write here inventory. It is 20,600 dollars. Fine. Next one is here trade receivable. Yes, we have to transfer this trade receivable here in this realization account. So we have to record in the debit side. So right here trade receivable. It is $42,800. Great. What we have here in the question? We have no more current assets. So already we recorded all the non-current assets and current assets. So now we will we'll transfer these liabilities. So here what is written? Capital and liabilities. Capital account. So these are capital. Okay, Sasa, uh, Mira, Sasa and Peter. So these are capital. We are not going to take this capital here. Okay. This will come in the capital account. I will show you in second part. Okay. So then we have here current liabilities. What is there? Number one, trade payable. Yes, transfer of liability will be recorded in the credit side so let us write here trade uh, payable it is $26,400 okay next we have the last one bank overdraft okay remember bank balance cash these items will not go here in this realization account okay this will go to the bank account and from the balance of bank you have to write in the capital account i'll show you in next part okay so these are the asset and liabilities we have in this question and already we record it here now we have some more adjustments so look at number two what is written sasa took a motor vehicle at an accrued evaluation of $4,500. That means Sasa has taken over this uh, motor vehicle. The value is $4,500. What we know? We learn here, takeover asset by your partner will be recorded in that credit side. Yeah. So what to write there? You have to write the capital. Okay. So let us write here. Capital account okay so it is sasa four thousand five hundred dollars great next we have uh, our remaining non-current assets were sold for sixty four thousand three hundred dollars so maybe there are more non-current assets which were sold okay so sold non-current asset or any kinds of asset when asset is sold then you have to record in that credit side so what to record here when any kinds of asset is sold whatever is sold so business receives money by check or through bank okay so we need to write here bank. and we sold what non-current asset yeah so it is sixty four thousand three hundred dollars okay very good we record it great Number three, we have inventory was sold for $19,800. Again, any kind of asset is sold, we have to record in the credit side. So again, we have to write here bank because I told you that if you sell any kind of asset, you need to write bank. So write here bank and then here we sold inventory. And value is here $19,800. Very good, finished. Okay, uh, number four here, received $40,500 from trade receivable. So we received from trade receivable. That means a trade receivable is an asset, asset is sold. That's why we received money, yeah. So when asset is sold, it is in the credit side. So go to the credit side and write here again bank because if we receive money from any resources, we write here bank. So here bank and we can write also trade receivable okay so here forty thousand five hundred dollars okay so second last number five trade payable were paid twenty six thousand dollars so trade payable were paid that means trade payable is a liability so liability is paid in this case we need to record in the debit side yeah so again uh, uh, money is paid from bank so we'll write here bank 
and we can write here also trade people so let us try $26,000 so the last adjustment Wall Street and cost of uh, diesel issue were $3,700 so already we know that cost or expenses of, all, of any realization will be here debited yeah so cost means you, you paid by check so we need to write here bank and here we can write cost of realization so it is three thousand seven hundred dollars so we recorded all the adjustments and we transferred all the asset and liabilities given in this statement of financial position okay so now we have to balance it so how to balance first of all we will add the greater column which column is greater in terms of money if we check this column will be greater okay so let us add this column first of all so if we add here it will be 160,300 dollars okay so this is the addition of this debit column now we will take this value in the credit side same value so let us take in the credit side yes and we will we'll write here 160,300 dollars okay now what to do we will subtract this all five amounts from this total okay so if we subtract our answer will be here four thousand eight hundred dollars okay so this amount will be now distributed to these three partners okay mira sasa and peter okay so how to distribute there is a ratio in the question that two is two two is two one okay so with this ratio we can divide this amount we can distribute this amount so what was ratio ratio was given here two is two two is two one okay total if we add this three uh, three ratios it will be five here we have balance four thousand eight hundred dollars okay divided by five and times two this is for what for mira okay mira then then shasha okay will be same ratio 4800 divided by five times two then last last part is uh, peter peter and his ratio is one 4800 divided by five times one so now if we calculate it is here 1920 and shasha also 1920 and the peter will be 960 dollars okay so this amount we will write here first one is here mira mira is 1920 and Shasha is 1920 and Peter is 960 dollars so if we add these three it is 4800 dollars okay so it is very easy if you understand so practice more questions like this and this question is a bit easier I'll show you next time some more advanced level questions how to prepare this realization account and in the next part I told you already I'll show you the capital account and the bank account of this realization of partnership okay so this is all about our today's lesson I hope you understood and enjoyed this lesson and for more new videos please subscribe to my channel okay and if you think that this video is helpful you can share with your friends I'll see you soon with part two and until then bye bye and take care.